This isn't my normal position. I usually like to sit in front of my TV in hi-fi setup with a little table. But the box that's just been delivered uh, is too large to put on my table. It's clearly marked heavy. And this outer box is only meant to conceal what's inside. Because I don't like having things delivered here that reveal the contents. Well, I think you can probably see, made in China, like a lot of things. Now what this is, is a new shelf and storage unit for a vinyl and a turntable. And I already have one, uh, but you know from a previous video that I'm planning on gifting that to one of my daughters. And this is a replacement. The reason I've replaced it is because my new turntable is too big to fit on the existing shelf. The brand name on Amazon is Uway, E-U-W-A-Y, and it gets four and a half stars across 41 reviews. Um, it is 32 inches high, and the top surface measures 23.6 inches by 15.4 inches. And they say it will hold up to 300 LPs. Well, we'll see about that. Anyway, enough talking. I'll crack on and build it and show you the relevant parts of the uh, procedure. Let's open up the box first. Well, all the pieces are well packed and protected. There's a lot of polystyrene in here. And there's the all-important destructions. So let's lift these various pieces out to begin with. I'm going to have to do this quite slowly and carefully because I'm suffering badly with some kind of rheumatic or arthritic condition which has suddenly affected my wrists. Okay, well that's the box opened and all the pieces taken out. I'll dispose of the acres of cardboard and mountains of polystyrene later. Uh, but in the meantime I've had to have a vacuum up because I can't stand working in a mess with lots of tiny fragments of polystyrene everywhere. So we can identify all the parts from the handy installation instructions. We've got a two side pieces. These are to act as dividers on the shelves to hold the records upright. And then we've got a pack of various screws, fittings, and four pieces that make up the shelves, which will be L-shaped like that, and the larger piece is the top. So let's get cracking. First we screw levelling feet into the bottoms of both sides, of the frame. A straightforward screw thread fit. Next we're instructed to attach the longer end of these metal brackets labelled number six to boards number two. There are two boards number two and six of these brackets. All the little screws are in bags conveniently labelled A, B and C which tie up with the screws and fittings on the instruction sheet. So I'm going to attach those brackets right now. Well, I think I've got it figured out. Uh, that will be the front edge of the shelf. This is the back edge. So I'll show you what I'm doing from this side, pushing the bolt through, attaching the longer end of this L-shaped bracket And you can tighten that up with the little Allen key provided. Now it turns out that these uh, are in fact the backs. So it'll sit, it'll sit like that and uh, beneath it will go the shelf. Well that's both backs with uh, brackets attached. Now we take uh, both shelves and attach them 
through these holes on the slide. Same screws and same Allen key. So now we can attach the shelf to the, the other back that we prepared earlier. So here we have uh, the back and the shelf uh, attached by means of the divider brackets. But now we have to put a screw up from underneath the shelf through a pre-drilled hole into the into the back. So I've got six of those to do. And now with the backs and the sides firmly screwed together, the next step is to attach the frame both sides. So I'll do one side, flip it over and do the other even though the little pictogram shows you doing it upright. When you first offer the frame end to the shelves, it looks like the holes don't line up, but that's because both shelves sit at a slight angle with the leading edge tilted up. So your records will tend to keep to the back of the shelf rather than slide forward. Okay, so I've, uh, flipped the whole thing over and I'm about to uh, attach the the other side of the frame. This is much easier to line up the holes because of course uh, the two shelving units are now held in place by the other side of the frame. So nearly there. Uh, now we've got to put these two cross braces on uh, front and back uh, with uh, long bolts provided. I have to say, far from there being pieces missing, they've uh, gone on the cautious side and uh, given you at least one, sometimes two spares of each screw. So, that's good. And now we're on the last leg. And now the final job is to install the top. It goes on like that. Uh, bolts in from underneath, which they show you in the little pictogram, again doing it upright. I'm not doing that. I'm going to turn the unit upside down and screw that way. So I'm just putting in the last screw now. It's a bit fiddly, but there's just about room to uh, work with it. Right, there we are. Let's get her upright. There, one hour, 15 minutes. I could probably have done it a little bit quicker. There it is sitting beside the little table that it's going to replace. Uh, you can see the tabletop is considerably bigger and a nice Audio-Technica turntable is gonna fit there perfectly. I'm planning on moving my DVD collection so that I can have the new shelf up against the wall. All in all, I'm very happy with that. It's very sturdy and uh, I think pretty good value for 148 Canadian dollars before tax. I'll leave a link to the Amazon page in the description.